Ida B. Wells was born into slavery in Hollow Spring, Mississippi on July 16, 1862. She supported her five siblings while working as a teacher after losing her parents to yellow fever. During this time, Ida B. Wells began working as a journalist. By 1890, she gained her reputation on racial injustice and became the co-owner of Memphis Free Speech and Headlines. After the Civil War, Southern white people attempted to reassert their power over black people by suppressing their votes, vandalizing their businesses, and even lynching them. After the murder of Ida B. Wells' friend, she risked her life and began an investigation into lynching. She analyzed newspaper reports and police records. She even interviewed people who lost their families and friends to lynching. She published her studies in 1892, and in response, a group of white people destroyed her newspaper presses and threatened to kill her if she ever returned to Memphis. She moved to New York and republished her studies in a pamphlet named Southern Horrors, Lynching Laws, and All Its Phases. In 1895, she moved to Chicago and published an extended study called The Red Record. After gaining some international popularity, Ida B. Wells traveled to Europe where she rallied to European outrage against racial violence in Southern America. She also confronted powerful organizations in the U.S. She resolved the segregation policy of the YMCA and left a delegate to the White House to protest discriminatory workplace practices. Although she participated in the founding of the NAACP, she was rejected by the organization. With her courage and determination of her vision and injustice, she shed light on various weak points of organization. She was courageous, brave, and was well ahead of her time trying to fight for equality and justice for all.